This week we're going to cover repowering SV Rock Chalk. And we've got Yanmar versus Beta. What options did I think I had and what decision did I make? So with that saying, let's get going. My first option was Yanmar, probably the premier marine diesel manufacturer in the world. And if you're looking at the horsepower range that fits your average 40-foot boat, as of last year, Yanmar had three options. The 57 horsepower, the 65 horsepower, and the 80 horsepower. Now, the big difference is after the first of the year, the 65 horsepower option went away because of EPA restrictions. So as of this date, you only have the 57 horsepower and the 80 horsepower. So let's take a look at those. Here was my first option, the Yanmar 57. Let's look at a couple of the specifications here. The key one for me was, of course, it's a 57 horsepower motor. It's replacing a Perkins 4154 rated at 62 horsepower. But anybody who has one of those motors knows that nobody spins that thing at 3,000 RPMs. And this is a naturally aspirated motor, which for me I consider a plus. No turbo to brake and no turbo to maintain. One more thing, it gives you better horsepower and better torque at the lower RPMs. As you see down on the bottom, this is a Tier 3 EPA motor, which is why it's available this year. Shopping around, your average price on that delivered to your door is about $16.5. Now, the last of the Yanmars I looked at was the Yanmar 80. I have to admit, if money was no object, this would be the motor I'd get. It's based on the same block. It has a turbocharger. It's rated at 80 horsepower. And um, it allows you to run that motor at a little bit lower RPM and then get um, pretty good horsepower. Now, it doesn't quite have the torque, but this will run in between 1,500 and 1,800 RPMs and be very similar to a Perkins 4154. It is a Tier 3 motor, and it weighs 505 pounds. A little bit heavier too. Now time to look at the betas. Beta Marine will tell you that a Beta 50 is pretty much a direct swap for a Perkins 4 154, especially after 30 years of use. So here we see the specs for the Beta 50. It's rated at 50 horsepower at 20 R 2800 RPMs. So what that tells you this is a slow turning high torque machine, very similar to the Perkins. With that said, I really didn't want to go through the expense and the hassle of repowering and putting in a motor that's basically at best just the same that I have now. So I looked on to what my other options were. The next up, up the line is the Beta 60. It's the same block and everything, just probably a little bit bigger, uh, more powerful injection system. So this one is rated at 56 horsepower at 2700 RPM. Another slow turn and high torque engine, very compatible to what is designed for and put in the original uh, Morgan Out Islanders. This is a very popular motor to repower within, within the 40 foot boat range and especially the Morgan Out Islanders. There are several people in the Facebook group that have repowered using these and seem to be pretty happy. Lastly, I wanted to look at something that was very similar to the uh, Yanmar 80. And with that here, you see the Beta 80. Now, this is a completely different block. It's also a turbocharged engine. It's rated at 70 horsepower at 2800 RPM. One thing that is nice about all the Betas is they're based on a Kubota engine. So it means you can get those parts pretty much anywhere in the world because they're used in just literally millions and millions of tractors out there. So that's one thing you might want to consider. So with that, let's go over the prices and I'll tell you what I made my decision with. After reviewing the models, let's go over the pricing and I'll let you know how and why I made the decision that I did. Keep in mind that these listings here are all for bobtail motor, no transmission. They're the base motor, no shipping or sales tax, 20 amp alternator on the betas, and 70 amp alternator on the Yanmars. The Yanmar 57 is 16.5, the 80 horsepower, 18.4, 300. The Beta, the 50 horsepower, I didn't even bother 
to price since I knew I didn't want that. The 60 horsepower is 14697 The 80 horsepower is 18856 Now, the 80 horsepower in both Yanmar and Beta would be my preferred motor, but budget is just not going to allow that to happen. So I have decided to go with the Beta 60. So with that, I'll be placing the order in the next few weeks. When it arrives, we'll have a big unboxing for that, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Picking a new motor is a big, big decision. It's uh, a lot of dollars, a lot of time, a lot of work. So I hope you enjoyed that sort of update on uh, what my options were, why I made my decision, and remember to, uh, if you liked it, go ahead and uh, hit that subscription button. Don't forget about the bell. The little icon there, you can tell when new episodes come out. We really appreciate all of you that uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't done so already, please do. Also, you can follow us on Facebook. And now, just starting this last week, I started to post uh, videos on Rumble. Don't really know a lot about it other than it's supposed to be an open platform where they don't censor what you put up there. I'm really not going to get into all that, but uh, if you're a rumbler, go ahead and slide over there because we're going to start loading more videos up there as we go along. As always, thank you for stopping in. Peace and fair winds.